This is an emergency transmission. Citizens of the world, please, make no mistake. The zombie apocalypse is near. Will you cower and hide or join us and fight? We are the Zombified. So stay on point and watch your six. Deadly nightshade and grotesque smiles. Our circle of horror honeys will make you bow. With every show and post, our fan base will grow. Come one, come all, and join the show. And with everyone's dissolution, we will cut the crown. We shall waltz around with me and Mina singing a song. And don't forget the ghost in the corner, Bansheba. And sitting at the table of terror, we got Dan Saturday and Mary P. Sitting around, now don't be mistaken on who has the crown. Come one, come all to the show of ages. Their time is now. With every word a chill runs down, scarier than a shed, full of tools with people being fools, as if the moon was red, and a vampiric masquerade was full of dread. The horror honeys are not to fret, they can bring a showstopper full of wonder, like a pirate's plunder, every word captivating. It got to make you ponder why it fills you with such fright. With all of the horror honeys waltzing through the night. Okay. Are we all here? Can you hear us? Hello. Can you hear us? Give us a green. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hmm? Huh? Huh? My video is coming up. Just wait. Oh, oh, oh yeah, the video. Oh. Hmm. It's loading. I'm doing. I'm loaded. I'm loaded. <laughs> Of course you are. <laughs> I'm not wearing pants. God dang it. <laughs> Get again. Wait, guys, what are pants? <laughs> Did Thank Pat you. just steal those again? Always. I mean, I don't wear them, so <laughs> I can get them easily. Damn you, teddy bear. What? I can't even type. I'm, hey, I'm freaking loaded. What the hell? It won't load? It's not loading. No. Oh, okay. What? Well, oh. we'll we'll get it working. We'll get it working. Uh, yeah. hopefully. Um <laughs> Um Half of them are pantless. And how do you know that? I mean Hmm. How do you know that with your ex? How do you know that? Yeah, I'd like to know. My ex knows everything. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I love you, by the way. I've never got over you. I'm sorry, I'm just saying. Yes, the power of the ex-husband. <laughs> <sighs> yes. Oh, Gary. goodness gracious. We are. We all scream. With the, horror, with the horror honeys. This is gonna, you guys have already got my tongue all screwed up today. I don't know what I'm going to do with you guys. <laughs> oh, you know exactly what to do out there. Okay, okay, okay. You yeah, okay, just okay. made me snort. My God, nobody makes me snort. You just made me snort. Oh, More booger sugar? Yeah. Somebody go get me a case of Dr. Pepper Zero. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Um, okay, so 
This is We All Scream with the Horror Honeys, and today we are talking about paranormal instruments. Or... Yeah, paranormal toys, bitch. Paranormal toys. Paranormal toys. <laughs> okay, okay. Paranormal toys. Um, with me <laughs> is the wonderful, beautiful, elfin, honey of thousand creepypastas, Bansheba. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, something just happened behind me. I think it was my cat, though. I can blame it on my cat. Paranormal ghosts. I don't have them. I have cats. <laughs> you love these cats. We have with us the delectable, the, 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 the uh, delightful, <laughs> delightful, the uh, 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 whatever. Dame said. <laughs> <Dame. laughs> I'm the whatever. I'm the whatever in deadly. Trust I think me. Diabolical was in there somewhere too, wasn't it? Diabolical, yeah. yes. Thank delightful, you. Diabolical. Sometimes I could be devious. Delicious. <laughs> delicious. Oh, delicious. Oh, oh, thank you. Delectable. Delicious. Deviant. And uh, uh, I'm just not going to do it for us today. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Hi, everyone. I'm everybody's resident Grim Reaper. And also with me, I have another uh, semi-fortunate soul, Mary P. Hey, guys. And we also have, as you heard, uh, Mia Mina, the undead ballerina. <laughs> Thank you. And as you heard today, we are going to be talking about paranormal investigation equipment, instruments, toys. And toys? What the, huh? Sorry. What was the other one I called them? Tools. Instruments? T tools. Tools. That's what we're talking about today. Um, and some of you may be ghost hunters or may have done some paranormal investigation in if you have let us know um in the chat what your favorite instrument is oh my goodness i see among us <laughs> um, oh, i'm sorry you, i'm sorry if, if you haven't um what do you think would be your most valuable if you did go on a ghost hunt okay so that's our that's our question for the day <laughs> I don't think we, you know, I don't think we have to tell everybody what we're doing because we already told them. <laughs> but Aww. before we get to the chat itself, Delectable Dame Saturday. Delectable. Oh, I thank you. De De delicious. Delicious. I thank you. Good Diabolo diabolical. <laughs> yeah. We're, we love Dame Saturday. <laughs> Paranormal. I am not no bogs. No. Uh, no. So if you have any visual art, fan art, words, cosplay, that poem you heard at the beginning was actually one of our um, Facebook listeners. I can't remember her name, but she wrote that for us and I absolutely adore it. I don't, I, I, I think we all absolutely adore it because it's really cool. Yeah. I love it. I love it. And then we got Kenny doing the the Vincent Price voice over there to make it all yes. sexy and scary at the same time. And <laughs> new people can pull that off. He just does it wonderfully. What can we say? Mm -hmm. Hands down. So uh, there's our our email address for you to send us. And Patches wants to know what Pat you think Patches looks like. Yeah, I want to know. Come on, guys. Quick. Nudes. Oh yeah, thank, thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> that's, that's all I want. Aww. All right, so um, uh, patches. Yeah, yeah. Can you can you um tell them what they need to do before we oh. get going? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Please. Yeah, I I can do that. Okay, okay, guys. You you guys ready? Okay, I need you to get real close. Real close to the screen. I need you to hear me real well, okay? 
Gosh, Don't was... forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to get more people <laughs> in here, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> okay! Oh, okay. yes! Sure, I have... <laughs> oh my gosh, Patches! We love you, Patches. We really do. Yes. I love you oh. most. I love your little antics, really. Seriously, you need to come out of the bed. We love you, Patches. Come, we love you, come. True. We love when you, When are you going to my angles again? I'm just asking, because, you know. Huh? Grab my ankles again, like you did. Like you used to. <laughs> Like you used to. Oh, I know my oh, oh, you understand. But... You take me by Please. the hand as you take me by the hand. And... Oh, 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 we're gonna ha we're gonna have him blushing like you know red red and he's gonna be redder than my screen right now. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> I can. It's all good. We're, we're, we love uh, you, Dan. Okay, Same. so um, let's look and see. Bef I am so lost on my words. Let's see who's in the chat. <laughs> We have Katie A. Hello, Katie. Hi. 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 We, we have Cleaving Thought from Bone. We have oh. Bony Platter. <laughs> of course, have the Zombified <gasps> and the oh four of us. Madam, Madam, uh, Madam Raven, I'm sorry. I ooh. just cream my pants. I'm yeah. sorry. Now, this has got an awesome <laughs> voice. I can't help it. I love you. I love you. Just if, if, you if you've if you been listening to Madam Raven, I think like it was either yesterday or the day before she put out another part of um, I'm a camp. I'm a camp owner. I can't remember it. How to survive camping. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody needs I, that. I love that series. That is. She's on the third book, and it's just amazing. Um, let's see. Your ex. Yes, your ex. Not my ex. Your ex. Um, <laughs> Everybody's ex, apparently. My ex. He is around. Around. Yeah. He's back he to my, he's back to your ex-husband instead of just your ex. So, yeah. He, he's playing with that name there. Ooh, hello. Horror Stories of the Baron. Okay. Oh. Baron Von Pasta. Hi. Get your delicious stuff in here. We yeah, of course. <laughs> um, the box official. Well, yeah, we know you're here. Uh, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get nailed throughout the whole show. I'm just saying. You're going to get what? I'm going to get nailed, babe. I'm getting nailed throughout the whole show. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we have <laughs> infinite psychosis. Hi. Ooh. Oh, it sounds so infinite. Yeah. <laughs> it's forever, yeah, forever. Oh, uh, the forever. your Princess Dragon Ketchner. Your legends go <gasps> throughout the Discord. Hi. All right. And I think we've got everybody. How's that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Um. <laughs> Have we got a commercial? Because it's commercial time. Yes. Uh, yeah. Brought to you by these spooky messages. These yeah. spooky messages. Oh, the mook. The Hello, mook. the mook. What the are you mook. doing? Uh, Allergic to nuts? Abish, how sad. Yay, more for me. Buy a mugger hoodie at our Teespring store then. Will you go there? Scan the code, please? Thank, 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 thank you! Yeah. Even if you don't like coffee, even if you hate coffee, you can still get a mug. Maybe you have a little hamster friend who might want to <laughs> just take a nap in it. You could put your toothbrush or your toothpaste in it. You could put a Venus flytrap in it. You like smoking cigars? 
You could put about <laughs> 10 cigars in a cup. <laughs> you can eat freaking ramen out of there, a cup of noodles, freaking Chef Boy RDs. You can have vodka. You can have Irish coffee. You can have anything you want out of that cup. <laughs> so don't forget, uh, check out our Teespring store. And just hit us up with a private message on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube, or even on Discord saying, I want a custom one made. I made one like that for creepy clown girls. You can see in pink at the bottom, it has a Venus flytrap planted inside of it because, <laughs> hey, you could do anything with a mug. You could even knock somebody out if you <laughs> needed to. <laughs> Might save your life. My life was saved because I had bought a Dezombified mug. <laughs> Thank you, Dezombified. <laughs> so do it already. Do it already. <laughs> you can put an alien in the jar and in a cup. <laughs> <laughs> and we got other videos. Videos. Look right there to the left. It's a bunch of videos. You can watch videos for days. <laughs> <laughs> you could be up for like four days in a row. <laughs> Yo, I, I binged on the Zombified's videos. They got four days of shit. <laughs> my eyes are bleeding. Thank you, the Zombified. Oh, my Lord Jesus. And then you put some freaking oh. coffee in the, one of these bugs and wake the hell up. <laughs> Yo, think about it. You cooking in the kitchen. You chopping up some lettuce. Mm -hmm. By mistake, you chop off your finger. You can put some ice in that cup, put your finger in that <laughs> cup, and go to the ER and get that finger put back on. S send us a picture, like, though. Thank you, the zombified. You saved my finger. Oh, this is a thumb. My finger. Wait, no, this is a pinky. My finger. <laughs> but not the middle one. It's gone. It's not gone. the middle one. <laughs> <laughs> owl dragon okay wolf owl dragon that's interesting <laughs> and we're back say i want that the button prices, I hope aren't yeah too low. <laughs> Except oh, well, I I have another thank you ah! you know i have another funny slogan you could put on a, on a mug okay if you believe in telekinesis raise my hand <laughs> I like that. I like that. You know what? We're gonna have a special guest on today. Y'all don't know about this, right? Yeah, well, we know about this because we know about this. Well, that is if he's comfortable talking to all of us. Yes. yes. He says yes. Okay. His no name is mama. Alistair. Yes. And he's gonna be coming Lucy. through channel and through Dame today so mm -hmm. if you have anything to say we are more than happy to have you with us on the show today because you're such a big fan and i am like flabbergasted that you love us so much so we have undead friends in very high places thank you <laughs> just saying oh that thank was beautiful you. that was he beautiful. says hello ladies and gentlemen Yay! it is a pleasure to be here yay no, but you, you know, um, you can use, I actually use my mug sometimes for my soda um, and I use it for hot tea and I use it for hot chocolate and I use it for milk and I use it, well. Do you use it for your ice cream? Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I do. Yep, yep. <laughs> for those who caught that reference. But we, but we do not, <laughs> we do not support or endorse mug violence. No, sorry. I don't support or endorse food violence in general. We should all be nice to food. We should, um, food. We should eat it and not not do torturous things to it. Yeah. I, I don't know. I can think of a few torturous things that I like to do to food, but I'm just I'm not gonna. Well. <laughs> no, not with cows. I don't do it with oh, cows. God. Oh sorry. God! No, <laughs> no, those who feel you here. Sorry. <laughs> oh my so goodness, ladies. it's getting hot in here. <laughs> oh, it's always hot here. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, we're not going to know. Um, <laughs> 
So, um, first of all, uh, why is my chat not scrolling? Um, <laughs> hey, Mia. Yeah. yeah. Use your finger. <laughs> <laughs> or your toes, you, they, or those they, who have the foot fetish. Me. They've always <laughs> been, they've been picking on me all morning. So yeah, <laughs> you know us better. You know us. Yes, I know. We're terrible. I know. We're terrible. I think um, before we get started, I think um, Mary. No, Patches has an amount of <clears throat> announcement. Yeah. 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 Mug violence, are you I sure? Something? A little something. Uh, it's uh, it looks like it might be uh, Sabian's birthday. Am, <gasps> am I? Ooh, am yes. I uh, am I getting that correctly? Oh, yes, oh it is. God. Is it? Oh, yeah. tomorrow. Tomorrow is okay. Hey, well, today is perfect because mm. I'm gonna okay, okay, give me one sec. Uh, 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 um, mm. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to Sydney. Happy birthday to you. Pat just wanted to do that so bad. Um, so, I find it funny if you look online, and of course, if you watch um, Travel Channel and Discovery Channel, and I've forgotten all the channels that have ghost adventures and so forth on them, because uh, I don't have TV anymore, so I'm not keeping up with it. Um, TV? What's that? Yeah, yeah no kidding. I was just about to say, I was like, uh, TV? Um, but what? they, uh, hey, mama. I said mama. that already, but yeah. Hi, mama. Um, a lot of them, uh, especially the YouTubers, uh, they like to say that, you know, they, I've had several of them that I watch personally started investigating because they were doing urbex they weren't even doing it paranormal and in doing the urbex they <laughs> they heard voices while they were going through the filming afterwards and they're going well, wait a minute huh so if, if i hear voices does that mean that i'm just paranormal and i'm not crazy yes that's what i heard as well ben uh, okay um, yeah thank you Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's confirmed like right here on Dizombified. Thank you. Yes, we brought it to you first, guys. We brought it to yeah. you first. <laughs> You're not crazy. You're just a happy birthday. You're just a happy birthday. That, What's that, that thing our hiking nice on your back here. side? My, ba my back side? <laughs> There's nobody behind me. Just saying. Okay, I'm shutting up. I'm shutting nobody up. Nobody behind me. Just saying. Um... But <laughs> yeah, where's the birthday scene? He whoa, but had Sheba. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. I'm behaving. So it's yeah, paranormal caught on camera. And a lot of times you see those that they didn't even know there was something there and they caught it on camera and it wasn't expected. And I think those are are probably the some of the most genuine. However, we do know that there are other ways that people are trying to catch the paranormal. Yeah. Isn't that the right word? Catch the Gonna paranormal? Gonna catch them all, yeah. paranormal. <laughs> 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 or sometimes they catch you, so it really goes vice versa here. Yes, it does. Uh. <laughs> uh, and I want this screen. So we've got... Josie Kitty! You were talking to Josie already. We were talking oh, to well, Josie. Oh, well, I did again. Josie. Okay. That's okay. I did again. That's okay. I, do. I missed it, so um, it doesn't count. Now it does, so you know, whatever. Okay, they um, want to play the birthday scene for Cleaving Hot from Bones, so let's do that now. Yeah. Uh huh. 
Let's do that right now. I love oh, that. I'm kitten. my little teddy butt. Work <laughs> <laughs> it. Back over there in the baby. corner. Work it. That's work it real good. Yeah. Oh, that's a, the, over in the corner with the, the little birthday cap and the cat and the plate. I love that. I love that. It's mm -hmm. just so cool. So cool. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you're being retarded. Stop doing things that I want you to do when I don't want you to do it. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. What the fuck? Well, tell it to stop. Uh <laughs> stop yet. <laughs> Okay, so Ow. there are a lot of tools that that they use, and one of my favorite is when they put a static camera somewhere, and they and it's a, a one of these infrared cameras that can catch in all spectrums, and yes. then they leave it there, and then they mm -hmm. catch whatever goes. In, and they don't; they're not even in the room or in the building. Sometimes, I love that. This is one I would like to see them use more, which is the infrared thermometer. Because I know when they walk into a room and they say, oh, it's cold here. Well, show me that it just went cold. Mm -hmm. Show me the temperature. Yes. What, did it go Did it go from, you know, it's hot as heck outside and it's like freezing right here. Well, show me the temperature change. Show it to me. I want to mm -hmm. see that. Um, Indeed. This is one, oh, and yeah. you're very familiar with this one, Banshee, but this is a digital voice recorder. Mm -hmm. um, I have seen, and some of them say the analog tape players, if you can get one of those, are even better than the digital ones. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know. Ooh, I forgot um, to put batteries in mine. I, can't find it. Ah, I had everything right here where to go. That. We talked about I know. that last week. Oh, okay, amateur go. animator. Good to see you, even though it's free. Mm -hmm. Hi. Well, I know I know I get to put batteries in my toys, okay? Triple A's. Mm -hmm. I need triple A's for yes. that little beast. Get it, lots of <laughs> That's one thing that you may, need to make sure when you're going on a ghost hunt. Make sure you have plenty of batteries. Bye. You need batteries. Yes. Batteries. Yes, make sure you're using plenty of batteries. Um and the, and that's another thing is make sure you don't have them with your tools because um Apparently, ghosts like to suck the energy out of batteries, and they die real quick if you do. Um, yeah. <clears throat> but, that's however, fine. if you want to do something that's an all-natural power source, um, one of the best things you can ever do is um, do a paranormal investigation while it's um, thunder and lightning outside. Very, they very thrive frightening. off of that. It would actually help. I would be crawling on the floor to do that, but that's... <laughs> so there's the, get, there's your, the... Crystal, get your quartz ready. Yeah, a witch. Yes. A witch. I had a friend that was a witch. She's it's Wiccan, and and mm -hmm. she showed me firsthand. Get your crystals ready. Get your quartz, 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 quartz. I have a lot There's of. There's a reason why we use quartz for everything. Oh. Quartz, quartz, quartz. Put that shit out. In a, yeah. In a storm. It charges. Solar it. power. That's yes. a good. That's a good idea. I haven't thought about that. Yeah. Before, your princess. Um, but yeah, digital voice recorder. Um, now. This is one of my pet peeves watching them and they Hello, how are you? Why are you screaming? That's just rude. Why are you screaming? The ghosts uh, aren't deaf. I'm screaming. I always scream. I scream all the time. I, I don't mean, I get it. You I scream somebody's names. We know who. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> oh wait, that's the wrong scream. Sorry. I mean I like to sing a little Adele to them and ask them if they're there. I mean, I get it. If if you're if you've got the sound the spirit box on because it makes a whole lot of noise, I can see screaming for that. But yeah, with the digital voice recorder, you're not you're, you're, you're there's no noise with it. It's just recording, yeah. and then you have to give them time to answer. And mm -hmm. only that that you forget that um they were once alive too. Mm -hmm. And they're not creatures, and you don't just talk at them you talk with them yes yes, yes. and also don't shout at them like just 
approach it just like you would with a regular person when you're meeting somebody new. So the same social norms and rules that you learn while you are growing up still applies to ghosts. Yes. Especially and keep in mind that if they come from the earlier centuries where manners were everything, that's something else you need yeah. to take in mind. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, the other thing I like to see is when they'll put a digital recorder in a room by itself. Yeah. Um, this is an EMF sensor. Um, this one just does EMF, which is electromagnetic fields. Uh, it gives you the numbers there on the screen. Yes, please like the screen. Please, please. Um, and it's like $40 at Amazon, $30, $35 at Amazon. You know, these are not. You can find it. I, I have a list. I have a list of the shit that I have. What I paid for it, it's not that expensive. There's ways yeah. to go about. This, no, this is actually the Travel Channel's list of gears and gadgets for paranormal equipment you can buy on Amazon. That's what I'm looking at right now. Okay. So I'm showing everybody. I'm going to put the link in here. Mia, mm -hmm. don't forget paranormal toys. Yes, I know. Oh, yeah. Here's the camera. This is a camera with night vision. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Um, this is a camera with night vision. You can see uh, it's got uh, full HD, 1080p, uh, 30 frames per second, 24 megapixels, night vision, pause, webcam, motion detector, all that good stuff. And that one is actually only $70. I've seen them cheaper at Walmart, um, $40, just saying. Uh, <laughs> Ghost Box. This is actually one of the bigger ones, I think. This is the SB11. No, you know, no. you've, got, you've got the no. SB7, right? Yes. Okay, let me say something because it was confirmed last night on Zombified. Thank you. <laughs> SB7 is simple. I own it. This thing does what you need to do. It is not complicated. It's very easy to use. Sweep it backwards. That always is a perk. Find out what frequency I use uh, the FM on that, and uh, you find whatever uh, the sweep rate is best for you to be able to understand them. Um, it is a good purchase, and it is not expensive. Let me, let me, okay, let me reiterate: not expensive to do so. This thing is golden. Thank you. It's cool. Even even Love the it. one that I'm showing here, the the SB11, uh, this is only $131 at Amazon. I didn't pay that much. I didn't pay that well, much. Well, you've got for mine. you've got it. You've I have got an SB7. Yes. SB7. Okay. Let me say something. Okay. Let me say something. Okay. Let me say something. And it has been confirmed by various paranormal groups that sometimes the older stuff that you use some of the Sybil when it comes mm -hmm. to purchases and stuff. Not only is it easy on the pocketbook, but the fact is that, you know, with cameras and, and certain things, the noise cancellation thing with the yeah. new stuff can actually interfere with that. When you use things that are older, you have a better chance of being able to connect and to be able to get right. some kind of response out of that. So don't necessarily go out and buy like the most expensive gear out there. It's not necessary. It is mm -mm. not necessary. If you want it, more power to you. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Uh, Madam Raven, we'll see you later. And yes, we're All going right. to be we're going to be binging your your videos again. <laughs> yes, please. <Aww. laughs> Love you, Bye. Bye. you take care have a great day so this is um this is what they call a paranormal kit this has got a gauss meter motion detector i'm not sure what that is earbuds which you definitely need um but this is this is one amazon has for sale um i did put the uh link in there these are not the newest newest toys but um you guys got me. You got me. You don't need the newest news toys. You don't. No, you don't. Need, I have a spot in my shirt. I'm sorry. And you don't, I saw it on camera. And you, and you don't need the most expensive either. <laughs> okay. So 
this ghost stop is another place that people get their paranormal um stuff and this is this is ghost stop uh it's ghoststop.com copy do your homework when it we comes have... to <laughs> these things do your homework and here's the yes. other thing is you need to be able to know how to use your equipment okay yes yeah, correct what works for one person doesn't always work for another person and that's something else that i've heard many paranormal investigators say the uh one will say you know i prefer having a radio with a broken off uh antenna and sweeping the numbers myself rather than having a s box fine if it works better for you that way yeah. do it there's some people who are real elitists about that sort of thing. Well, this is better. Or, no, no, this is better. Or, yeah. you know, fine. They're all special. Treat them all equally. Okay. What matters is that you take care of each of one of them. Right. Handle um, them with care. The ovulisk, uh, Madam Ray, everyone's saying she prefers the ovulisk. I, I like the ovulisk. I'm I have it on my list. Yes. On I this, one. I'm still oh, on the, nice. um, <laughs> I'm still on the um, on the fence on how well I feel about it, but I, I do like the obvious. They're now they have an EBP wrist recorder for your for your watch. Oh. I, you know, this is the old KMF, the old K2 meter next to the rim pod. So they've got all sorts of things here that you can look at. Um, going to look at a couple of them later laser grids which i like because you can actually see if there are breaks in the grid when you set them up set up a camera and a laser grid and watch them walk through it whoa uh oh i'm knocking over drinks uh -oh. um she's getting abusive people i'm just saying yeah yes <laughs> she's More getting abusive drink violence. watch your step Oh, Jesus, violence. Violence. It's brutal lately. Oh, I, have, I have some of the ones that we're getting ready to look at in this playlist. Um, so you guys can see. The music's not too loud, I don't think, is it? I don't think it's too loud. No, I'm, sure. me. Um, I'm not going to play these videos, but they, they are on YouTube if you want to go and look for them. <laughs> if they can come up for me, please. Please. This is a playlist, I think. Yes. Okay. The first one you see here is how to make an infrared night vision camera for ghost hunting with a $40 night vision camera. <laughs> Go to Walmart, spend $40, get a camera. You got it. Uh, the next one is Panic D. Um, Marianne takes you through what is required for a forensic photography basics. And that's how they do a lot of their photography, a lot of their camera work. If you look at Panic D's website and the database, a lot of their stuff has been done forensically because she teaches forensics in high school. And I wish I had had her. <laughs> I wanted her. For, I want her for a teacher for that. Um, SB7. How to modify the SV7 spirit box for the ghost adventure style. Basically taking the antenna out of it. Um, mm -hmm. Patrick shows you how to do that. Again with Panic D. How to not lose or forget your charging cables. He made a box. And it does it really cool. So there, there's that. Um, it's also got uh, Amy's Crypt. I, and I don't know how many of y'all know Amy's Crypt. Amy goes around, she's gone all over the world, and her husband has gone with her, wonderful man, Jared, and um, he was her camera forever, and one night she needed a tool, and they didn't have that much money, so she start. he started, he sat down and he started writing Ghost Tube, which is a ghost hunting app for the android and the iphone now some things don't work on the iphone like they do on the android because iphone won't let him have access to certain things in their um in their toolbox but they did a video showing how 
these apps work and what they do and one of the things that I love that he said during this was he actually said he said the way that I the iStore and the Android play Google Play are they go into the app that you're going to put up on their list and they make sure that they aren't recording people they make sure that they aren't picking that type of, they aren't spying on people things like that that's why I think it's so dangerous when we have people like Epic trying to take down iPhones uh, iStore and Google Play because they've gone in and they've made sure that there there is nothing in these apps that's going to spy on you it's not going to steal your data it may ask for yeah, uh, that's always a problem it may ask for access to your your mic and your speakers but that's because it's trying to pick up things for you and teach and give it back to you but it's not recording it <laughs> so, <laughs> hi kitty kitty's like cat. kitty's like ah no ah so no. yeah the, sorry it makes the doubters to check out the horror honey say rock <laughs> oh thank you um so yeah there's um there's that that there um there's some other tutorials there as well that i use for my narrations but i thought that you guys would would like to see some of those tutorials and things um i think this is patrick with the the 40 dollar camera which one which camera it's a forty dollar. I I think it's I Pro or G Pro or Go Pro or mm -hmm. what is it called? Mm -hmm. That they use. GoPro. Yeah, yeah, GoPro. And I like the GoPros when they've got it strapped to their head and they're like crawling through something. No, this is the Ghost app one. You know, it is very good because it actually shows exactly what you are looking at and what you see. It, it's confirmation. Yes, GoPros, they can be easily manipulated for IR as well. Yes, and, and that's what he showed. Understand IR, that means night vision type situation. Uh, it's good. Good, 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 good. Speaking of Patrick, there's Patrick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's actually showing a geek cam, which I think is the knockoff GoPro. It's a real little camera. He, when he showed this camera here on the screen, I was like, damn, that's a small camera. But if I it think about is, it, if you put a if good. you put a strap on that and you put it on your forehead, yeah, that's gonna be really small. So Mia, I would just have to say, would you consider that a strap on? <laughs> <laughs> there she goes, strap on. You're being <laughs> beaming, huh? No, I tell ya. Speaking of narration, your scary story seems gathering dust. Just saying. Yeah, I know. So is my scary stories. Uh <laughs> <laughs> it's been a bad week, guys. It's been a bad week. Um, Real life happens. Real life happens. Real life happens. Oh, yes, it does. Yeah. So that's how to make an infrared camera. There's the forensic basics that uh, I tell you, I love Mary Ann and Sean. They are fabulous. Go to go over to um, Panic D. Check it out. Check them out. They are so amazing. Um, does Unvide wants Mary to tell a story? Hmm? Ooh, Got something ooh. to share? Do share. Mm. You've been holding out. Okay. Mary's been holding out. How the fuck have you been holding out on me, Mary? Yeah, you I tease. thought we had a better communications. Better. You teased. Wait, what? What am I? Sorry, Puzzle was getting into everything. <laughs> Puzzle, <laughs> like knocking. He decided that he was going to go on a rampage and knock everything over. Um, so I missed a little bit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. I'm sorry, and, Fuzzles. No bacon for you. Mary needs to speak now, so let's hear. And there's the the SV7 that Ben Sheba has. You see, Patrick's got it there, where he's going to modify it for the Ghost Adventure style, which he shows you how to safely open it and take the antenna out, so that it doesn't have an antenna to pick up any radio stations. Um, <laughs> I have mine still. I need to do that. I'm afraid to. I'm scared. I'm going to break it. We have yeah. to bribe Mary with bacon. 
<laughs> Fried Mary with bacon. Bacon. It always works. This is good, and mm, even if you're not a ghost off. hunter, <laughs> <laughs> even if you're not a um, ghost hunter, this is something. If you travel, um, how many cables do you take with you with your phone? Oh God! Your cameras. So many. Yeah, you, 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 all your electronics, your laptops, everything. Um, he built a little thing, and all you have to do is it, it, you plug them into the box, and all the cables are already in there. P put on a surge protector. All you have to do is switch it on, and you're good. And you don't have to take them out. You never lose a cable that way. And that was a great video. And I just put the link in the in the chat. Thank you. Imagine that. I need that link right now. It's in the chat. And tip your hat. Uh, another uh, one of the uh, horror facts has the how the Necrophonic Spirit Box apps work. And it tells how it works and, and what it does. Um, it actually breaks it down. This is from horrorfacts.com. And again, it's not... It's not allowed. It's illegal for them to spy on you. It's illegal for them That's to record spy you. On me. Yeah. Oh, you suck out for your uh, voice. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I've uh, seen your drones. I've seen your drones around. You sent them, didn't you, Patches? I thought Patches was under the bed. No. Under my yeah, bed. Yeah, you were operating those no, drones, weren't you? Me? Bitches, never. be jealous. Never do that. Ace, uh, that is Ace, that is so uh, cool. Uh, 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 hey, you uh, don't uh, know me. You don't know me? You don't know me? <laughs> yeah. I know you, bitch. I know you patches yeah. over there. There are some of the ovalus ovalus ov ovalus. Am I saying it right? Ovalus. That um they they um don't have a actual dictionary in them. They only have phonetic, phonetic sounds. And I really like how they work probably better than the, the spirit box and everything else because yes, it's probably harder on the spirits because they got to look for the sound. Yes. But I think it's a purer communication. So, yeah, there's those. Um, here's the, the ovulus explain. Ovulus, I said it right. I didn't look at it. That's how I could say it. I wish I could have an ovulus. I, I wish I could. They're a little bit more pricey. but Yes, no. they are. And the K2 no, meter, obviously, and the male meter, which are uh, basically the same thing. Um. But the K2 just does the, uh, okay, let me scroll down. <laughs> the K2 just does the lights that we're all used to. I see you, Bansheba. I see you. You're watching me. I know. I know. And the, um, the mail meter gives you the numbers and everything. And I like the mail meters that have the temperature on them because they're really, really cool. <laughs> so... There's that link as well. Um, oh, this is one of my favorites. And I talked to you about this one, Banshee, and you're like, what? What is that? This is the Sorry. EMF bear, teddy bear. Wait, what? Those things are kind of cool. Yeah. It, it, Ooh, it is literally oh, that's a good day night. Night. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. Oh, don't that's worry. It. You're not being upstaged. And it, it is so cool. I love it. I want one. I know I'll probably never be able to use one or afford one, but I want one. Um, but basically, the, the bear lights up in different places. I can light up in different places. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know this. Yeah, we've seen you at the party lately. <laughs> he, light, he lights up at different places as the EM EMF is changed around him if it if the ghosts go around him they say that emf is changed when a ghost is around something and that's why they set that up like in a kid's room and just leave it with a camera on it that is one of the best ways i've seen this one used it's okay it's, it's okay right, i guess 
It's all right, Aww. you guys. <laughs> Somebody got spanked with the envy stick, huh? Yeah, I think Mm -hmm. somebody. (laughs) Oh, it's. Oh, no. Okay, so that one didn't work. That link didn't work. Okay. This is Ghost Hunter's Equipment equipment by Ghost Ghost Augustine. Um, What it was was the Paranormal Puck. I don't know how many of you all know what the Paranormal Puck is. Paranormal Puck is. It looks like a. um, Like a hockey puck. And you put it down and then you talk on your phone with an app. You talk, you put in a question and it sends the question back to you from the ghost. That's so it's sort of like an ovulus or a spirit box, except it's doing it in text. Oh, that just reminds me. I have to um, put in this one. I know it's um, a little bit far off, but um, there are some instances where um, somebody's Alexa would actually respond uh-huh. to a ghost yes. talking to it. Yes, those are that is neat. I've seen that. Yes, you can actually use that in an investigation if you so choose. That that should yes. be interesting. Or, or on your phone, your uh, Alexa on your phone or your um, Siri. I've seen those used. Yes. Um, this is a written pod with the temperature and uh, this one's got a temperature. <laughs> Uh, sensor on it and the, these are interesting I, I again and, and this is something else Amy from Amy's Crypt said is you've got to use more than one mm-hmm. to verify because you're the one that's going to have to say this is this is this is a paranormal example you've got to you've got to go through and you've got to say this is not this is not this is not you know um mm-hmm. one of the things they were talking about the um the emf light balls you've got a light ball and you've got it on one side of the room and you got a rim pot on the other side of the room and and one goes off and the other doesn't go off it may be but uh, one of the things amy was saying is um if you've got the SLS and oh god that thing gives me the creeps I'm sorry but you know when you're yes. sitting there and, and you're like the victim I'm sorry but you're the victim and you're sitting wherever you're standing wherever and all of a sudden this little shit shows up on your shoulder <laughs> on your head and you're just like what what there's what the, the, yeah. Fuck us up there. I'm sorry, but yep. get the fuck off. Get, get off me. Get off me. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's creepy shit. I'm sorry, but yes, I it want. Is. We do have okay. So um, you know the way you do the whole um, SLS thing. It has a lot to do with the mapping of the human body mm-hmm. uh, with the. You know, whether you have a PlayStation or you have, you know, an Xbox or, you know, whatever, you know, PlayStation. Yeah, I already said that. Anyways, you have all that and you have one of these things to do certain games that, you know, are activities that are good for you and to have fun. Um, They map your body. And unfortunately, they do map out the things and just your body. I'm sorry, I scratched my nose. Um, but they map. They map, they map anything things that, that might not be there. Just saying. They map happens. anything yes. that has a human form. It's looking for a human form. So if you if you pass it over your 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 coat rack, it's going to think that's a human form and it's going to map it. It's going to happen. Yeah. And one of the things so Amy have, said, if you're going around the room and you're moving it slowly, you can't move it really really fast because you're not going to catch anything. But if you're moving it slowly and it picks up something in the same place more than once, it's you might probably want to pay attention. it's probably not a ghost. Oh, yeah. Okay. If you if you get something that's an anomaly, and also look at what's in that area. If there's nothing in that area, and something's um, mapping. Yeah, you know, something's mapping. You know. What the fuck? I'm just saying, mm. what the fuck? That's pretty much true. if it's if you hear those words come out of your mouth. I'm just saying, what the fuck? 
then you're like, what the fuck? And your chances are that you might actually have caught something that you didn't know that was actually there in the first place. I'm just looking to see if one of these was showing. I saw one that had one on it, and I'm trying to find it. But um, it's it's interesting to see how they work. I'm more. I think that's one of the things I'm more interested in seeing how these things work than actually using them. <laughs> I want oh. to use them, but I'm scared because I don't need to see. I mean, I know there's stuff at my house, obviously, because it's been on Discord before. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's We've been on Discord it. for many different, yeah, different people saw that shit. Yes. But you know, regardless, um, God dang. There it know? is. There it is. There it is. When you actually see it, when you see it in your own surroundings, it's a little unnerving. But understand that most, and I just say most, is not 100% of the time, but most of the time, it can't hurt you. Okay. No. Be prepared. Be prepared. Most of the time, they cannot hurt you. So, Alistair, Alistair, <laughs> I'm going to ask a question for Alistair. Am I wrong? Please confirm. Do you have anything to say about that? I'm just asking. Hmm. He's saying, hmm. I'm going to quote him here. Um, by the way, how am I communicating with Alistair is that I have a Ouija board image that's on my desktop and I let the cursor do the walking here. So what I say is um, quoting his words. Well, I'm saying slowly. So just um, as a confirmation and disclaimer. Okay. First oh. of all, we are not entirely the same as most assume us beings to be, if you want a broad term. Right. However, the more you want to share the screen a, name, or no, it, it's okay. all right. I'm, okay. I'm, he says the the more a spirit has a strong enough emotion, they could interact with the earthly realm. So are you saying that um, it's liable to be harmful if they so choose? If they're strong enough? Yes. Mm. Keep that in mind. You're well, from the other side. Just yeah. saying. This one, this video was funny because th he was checking out the ghost app. Um, he was checking out the SLS camera app from Ghost Tube, and then that's a different that's a different Ghost Tube. It's the same. Jared made it too, but it's two different apps. And he went back to the regular Ghost Tube as he's walking out of the cemetery, and as he comes by this one spot right here, and you really can't see it, but. The obelisk uh, on the ghost tube app said disrespectful, and it was clear as day. It just said disrespectful, and he says, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, I'm trying to be respectful. And it's like disrespectful, and he says, I think I need to leave. Wow. <laughs> So I thought that was a, a little bit interesting that he he actually had that. Um, um, there, have you show, share the screen real quick? Um, go to me, what option? I go down my to the board. bottom. Go down to yeah. the bottom. You see where it says present now? I took oh, mine yes. off. So you oh, hit okay. that and it'll ask you where what you want to present. All right. Got it. Got it? Yeah. Yay. We get to see. We get to see. I'm sorry. Alrighty. I'm kind of excited about that. Um, but 
the same okay. thing with all these tools and this is the this is the this is the can caveat. everybody see my board not yet but i will be able to because there's a little bit of lag on my side i noticed that when i was looking all here right here we go here we go um the thing with all of these tools you have to be ready for the consequences of what is what you're doing uh we talk about how the ouija board and tarot cards and it's the the uh dousing rods the pendulum um all of these things do the same they open up a communication portal you have to be careful that you are ready to deal with what happens when you open that portal and you have to know how to close it because you don't want to leave it open so anything can come through and anyway anything can come through you're not just you can't just call one spirit that's not the way it works no um the spirits that want to come through they're the ones that come through and they're the ones that talk to you <laughs> and is it showing i'm looking hold on go ahead okay and you know there's a a super and i know banshee but i know you've seen huff paranormal's portal which is that super spirit box that he's got all built up and it's very clear but he's put in a lot of different things using crystals and such to help amplify everything you don't have to have all that I, I, I know for a fact that somebody said that it costs like $700 to get one of those things I, I, oh, I, no 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 you don't no, you, you don't, don't you, don't. you can do that with less money mm -hmm. just saying if but you again, have the materials, the more you know, you can yeah. do it. Yeah, exactly. And it's people, courts of any shade, color, type, anything. Courts is courts. It records. Mm -hmm. um, courts he's is saying, very um, good. Alistair is saying that give sauce. advice. He says, "May I um, give advice to pe people who want um, spirit contact?" Yes. yes. Uh, I forgot runes. I forgot runes and, and bones yes. because those have been used as well. And you know, we laugh about it because it's such a trope. Yeah. But the cri quartz crystal balls, mm. quartz crystal balls, not so Makes much glass difference. ones. Yeah. Um, but Makes a difference. They, there is a, there is, there are ways that people open portals and they're tools. Mm -hmm. That's all they are. They're tools. However, they are dangerous. If you open something and you don't close it or you open something, you can't really control who's coming through. You can't control what's going on. You have to be careful. He's yes. saying you are correct on that. <laughs> Thank you, Alistair. Right there. He's saying, <laughs> yes, you are correct on, on that, but he wants to give advice on spirit yeah. contact. All right. Ouija boy, Ouija board scare the crap out of me, but that's my personal history. That's not everybody's personal history. Some people have never had any problems with them. Um, tarot cards for the longest time. If I went down, I used to go down to the French Quarter and walk around the French Quarter um, by myself. <laughs> and it used to be this is before Katrina. They had a lot of card readers down there and a lot of crystal readers down there in the in the Jackson Square right around mm -hmm. the square there and I had several of them try to read for me palmist and and tarot readers and I always they never asked for money I always just gave them some mm -hmm. but um while they would do the reading they're like I, I really can't tell you much because this is it's confusing it's saying this and that and this and that and it's not it's it's not clear it there it's like they're confused they can't read you and i'm like okay that's not a problem and i give them five or ten dollars because you know they tried um but as i 
have gotten older, I've had a couple that have had spot on readings. So yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, we love Ben Sheba's shirt. I like the sleeves on her shirt, really. I do. I like cold I shoulder, like... bitch. Cold <laughs> shoulder. I'm wearing my <laughs> I'm wearing my war radio staff shirt. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, yes, caution. And even if you're just going with a camera and a mic, be careful. Yes. Because you are asking for communication. And yes. you may not get communication from somewhere that you want to get it from. Okay. And Correct. We're going to have, because that has you know, happened. Yeah, we're going to have a spirit. Um, Alistair, tell us um, what you should do. And, and you, everything, what to do on the other side, and what advice if you want to ever do spirit contact. So, get right from the source here, people. I'm not making this up whatsoever. All right, take it away. First of all, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else in between charming afternoon for everyone to have if you wish to have spirit contact with any being approach with no fear they thrive off your emotions. Hey, realities in perspective. <laughs> Hi, realities. The more of a strong emotion you have, the more a bad spirit will follow you. Yes. Approach uh, with love and a pure heart. <laughs> I, uh, Alistair, I think the other thing that um, I see a lot of people doing is it protecting themselves um, by their faith, whatever their faith is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does that help as well? Yes, it does. But you must be devout. Mm -hmm. Oh. So that goes back to the, the vampire thing where um, you have to... Um, Stay true to yourself, in other words. Right? You, you have That's to have the much. faith. In, in the object that you're using. If you're a Jew and you put up a cross, it's not going to work. But if you use the David star, that's more, and you truly believe in your faith, that's going to work. And you don't just walk the walk. Or, um, you don't just talk the talk. You actually walk the walk. I think. Thank, Thank you, you yes. Mary. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank Mary you. got it. <laughs> yeah. We love Mary. <laughs> and another piece of Ed. Wear colors that reflect positivity to your mind. That's an individual thing, isn't it? Yes. Because, I mean... I feel most comfortable, and this is going to be bad, and don't kill me, chat. I feel most comfortable in the color black. Wait, why would chat kill you for that? I feel and, the same way. And that is perfectly fine, madam. <laughs> Told you not to call oh, me, well, madam. Oh, Mr. you were so polite. It's just, it's okay. It's, we it's okay. It. We love you. Um... I adore each of you in return. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Um, but you know, if you're if you're my mother hated pink. Okay, so pink was a very negative color for her. Now most people would say pink's cool. Pink's good. Um, then yes, black is the absence of color. Um, but but it is all the colors combined. At the well, same actually, time. that's white. But we yes, won't get is. into we won't get into that's that a conversation. That's, that's, a, that's a whole that different topic. That's a whole different that topic, depends. right there. Yeah, because that's... colors and shades are two different, separate things. Sorry, I'm just saying. We'll, we'll get into that some other time. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's you know for her, a navy blue or a bright red was positive. But you could also tell her moods if she was if she was having a depressed day, she'd be wearing blue. If she was having a an up day, she'd be wearing red. You know, she loved wearing red, white, and blue. Believe it or not, but <laughs> I used to tease her. I said, "You know, pink is light red." She says, "No, it's pink." <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm looking at a dream interpretation perspective. Pink, it is two colors, red, red, and white, and white. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it's light red. No, there's a name for that. It's pink. <laughs> yes, yes. Pink is just a, a form of a different form of red. It really is. And In, we were talking about yeah, blue, just, blue and red are purple. Yeah, <laughs> just to put it out there. As in, if you dream in color and you remember your dreams and you dream of pink or any type of pastel, which any pastel is going to give you a white, is going to put white in there. Basically, whatever the color insists of is your true emotion, your true identity, your true form, your true thought, the passion behind it. If you put white behind it, as a pastel is going to mean that it is an immature thought meaning not that you're immature per se but the fact that it is young and that it is growing just letting you know mm -hmm. just i always know. dream in color good thing i'm, I'm in shit storm right I'm, i always dream in color <laughs> no 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 it, that's a good thing because your, that's okay. your your subconscious will let you know and colors are a big part of that everything that you dream it has a significance keep that in mind people everything you dream has significance it doesn't matter how graphic and how nasty your dream is it has everything to do with meaning behind it now so i i had mind. this argument well not really argument i was asking a question if you have okay. a dream okay mm -hmm. and we we talk about dream reading that that's kind of paranormal as well because the spirits can use dreams to talk to us yes um this is true true so i i said if if i'm i'm putting up a story that is my dream it's a dream i had it's a dream yeah. that i experienced mm -hmm. is that a true story or is that a fictional story? Hmm. I have an and that was my that. question. And, and and what I got was dreams are nothing more than your subconscious screwing around with your head. No. Let me put a rest to that right now. I can give you this. All right. The, the fact is, if you're dreaming it, 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 granted, get that information out there. It is your subconscious trying to put that in your head. Your subconscious and your mind, the way you think, it will always be at odds, okay? Let me reiterate. The fact that your subconscious will always prevail. It will always prevail because it's always picking up things that you, as a person, don't always know what's being picked up. It is additional stuff. Your sub, it's subliminal, subliminal. Thank you. Subliminal right. has been used in wars, for God's sakes. It happens and it's effective. So listen up. Okay, your subliminal is going to talk to you because your subconscious is always going to prevail over your mind. All right? 
when it comes to dreams that your subconscious, it will create a story. It creates a story from the useless information that you pick up every day, all right? And it will put it into story form for you. It's not for anyone else, it's for you. That is what your dream's about, okay? It's about you. It's about what you perceive and what you think and what you put into whatever situation you're in, okay? Mm -hmm. So understand, your subliminal is not working against you. It never works against you. It'll always work in your favor. It's not always something that you want to hear, but it's something that you need to hear, okay? Understand this. Like, hello, okay, so, hello, McBride. Anyone home? <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Dane. Well, that's I think, exactly what it is. See, I, exactly. I, I think a lot of people, you know, you go, if you go to a psychic and the psychic's always giving you positive and good stuff, I'm worried about your the truthfulness, though, because I don't think that the psychic's giving you a true reading because not everything's going to be good. Not everything's going to be oh, good. You're not always going to be happy. Says, Listen to oh. Mia. She knows what the fuck she's talking about. I'm just saying. Oh. She oh, knows also, exactly what she's talking about. Oh, no, I had. I had the warning though. Okay. Okay. He, he's warning. There, there are certain actions that will attract bad spirits. Oh, all right. Um, what's this warning you want to give? Thank you. <laughs> First of all, there are five things that can attract bad spirits. Okay. One, being negative in any form or fashion, mm -hmm. including the internet trolls. That mm. love yes. to bully. Mm. They we... will attract the lowest of shadow uh -huh. beings. Also, two. Yeah. Oh my god! Two. Thank you. He says two. Having an unclean house in both the physical and metaphysical way. Mm -hmm. Three. Not following your faith. Yes. Yes. Personal beliefs, people, keep strong to your personal beliefs, in other words. Whatever they are, just stick I, to I, it. I, I don't care what your faith is. It doesn't matter. No. Yeah. Please, please be strong in your faith if you're going to be doing this because you need that to mm -hmm. protect you. Agreed. Agreed. Thank you. Four. Not... Addressing any mental health issues and allowing vice to get the best of you. Please seek help for suicidal thoughts. Oh, yes, yes, please. please, please. I'm begging, please. Please. I can attest to that. Everyone who wants to say otherwise, fuck you. I can attest to it. I'm just saying. This is a very, 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 very important subject to Bansheba for yes. reasons that I think all of us know. Um, I think all of us have been touched by that at some time, somehow. And uh, if you have, if you are being bullied, tell somebody. 
if you have thoughts of doing harm to yourself, I got yelled at this morning about that. Uh, <laughs> we love you, Bia. So we understand. We know. Um, we give it. We give it. Put, talk to somebody. If, yes. You know, if you, if if it's if you need to talk to one of us, and you have the way to do it, our Twitter, our our Discords, our however get a hold of us if you don't feel comfortable talking to somebody like us you need to you need a third party that's not interested the um suicide hotline and i know i just saw disomified put it up there it's it's pinned to the top of the chat uh thank you call thank that you. Thank you. call right. that yes five what's the fifth one avoid violence that will harm anyone be it physical emotional, or or verbal. verbal emotional mental thank you <laughs> excuse me it's okay bansheba now okay, it's my turn to want to hug you it's my turn to want to hug you you're hitting hard right here because <laughs> verbal I, you know you hear the sayings when you were growing up at least for gen x we always heard sticks and stones will break my bones but names will never hurt me that's bullshit it's bullshit bullshit i'm calling yes. you out right now i'm calling and you we're out con right confirming now. this from the other side here um, that's that's yeah. saying thank you you need thank to you. stop this thank you Sabian. thank you you need sticks to and stop stones. Sticks and stones might break my bones, but words will never <laughs> hurt me. But uh, the thing is that the words hurt more than anything else. Sticks they and do. stones, the physical, the physical can heal. The physical can get better. The physical can, uh, yeah, it may leave a scar. It may leave a scar, a visible scar, but that's visible. The pain that's done to people through your words and your actions, the mental and emotional abuse. It it never leaves the mind. It never leaves the heart. There's a and there's I think I showed this to Bansheba last week. There's a rant I went on a few mm -hmm. years ago on my blog page. Um where it, it talks about you know why is it that when a when a somebody that you love tells you you look great you look wonderful you look fabulous but the one person whoever they are whether you love them know them whether they don't even know you they tell you that you look like shit yeah they tell you you look like crap why is it that we hold to those more than we hold to the thoughts say that okay are you gonna let some stranger dictate to you how you should think and feel but we do. Come on. We, we do. But we, we do. But we we do. do. We shouldn't. But we do. You know what? It's time to rebel and, and say, you know what? That's a you problem, not and, a me problem. And that's what my rant was about. It's something that I tried to teach my children. You know, if you know? somebody on YouTube says, it, or on Facebook, or on Twitter, or wherever, says, you have purple hair and you're ugly with it. Well, if you know your hair's blonde, why do you put faith in their words? Yeah. Why? Why do you put faith in their words? Oh, he's oh. saying something else here. He says, learn to weaponize love and yes. a sense of humor as our dear dame has done follow her example yes and yes Josie it takes 15 positive words to cancel out one negative so spread the love yes it's a lot more powerful than you think it is and also you don't have to use flowery words you know just as um, something is you know, simple as a nice compliment. You don't have to actually 
flirting with somebody to make it awkward. You can just, you know, say, hey, I, I've seen you've been down lately. You're, you okay there? I, you know? I, I was listening to a live stream last night. Um, and I can't remember the, 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 I can't remember the, the channel. Um, but they were talking about, um, the differences between masculinity and femininity and using that to be yourself, to, to enhance yourself. If you know yourself and who you are and what you are, being a man doesn't mean you go around and you beat everybody up. It means you know when to make those, those choices. Yeah. You know when to stand up for the people that you love and you know when to stand up, when to stand down and say, okay, we're going to, we're going to take a step back. Everybody calm down. Let's talk calmly about this. Um, I'm trying not to get into those tapes that I've been listening to. Uh, but he, he, they went for an hour and a half. These two. And these these guys are not. This is not what they normally talk about. They normally talk about um, D&D and um, medieval times and fantasy. One of them is a fantasy author. And he said, you know, when I was dating, um, I was shopping. I was looking for what I wanted in a mate, what I wanted in a spouse. So if I went out with a girl and she had something that I didn't like, that was it. We didn't date again. So a lot of his dates were only one or two dates. He said there were very few that went more than three dates. Um... And then he met his wife and he knew when he met her before he even went out on a date, he could see those qualities that he wanted in a wife. He knew what he wanted and he went out and yeah. he got it. His roommate yes. wanted her too, but he managed to get her first, which I thought was, <laughs> that was a funny story they told. That was really funny. But um, yeah, it, and they've got five kids now and they're very Amen. happy. And they're, they're more kids. taking Sorry. care of each other. He says one of the most fulfilling thing of his and the most things that makes him feel the best as a man yeah. is being a father and being a husband, being a great father and a great husband and striving to be better in those roles every day. And women need to do the same thing. We need to be better mothers. We need to be better sisters, better caregivers. And, that are wives, yeah. you know, and Agreed. it doesn't, it has nothing to do with, you know, sexuality or anything like that. No, it's, it's, no. it's just being it's the un... best you, you yes. can be. Yes. And, and that's what truly defines an adult, regardless of gender. Right. And that was, it was, it was beautiful to listen to. And like I said, it was an hour and a half long and I, I, when they stopped, I was like, ah, charging toys. Oh, goodness. You know what? I, I actually have a, a personal little um, secret I can share with everybody. How to shut down a troll if you're ever in a in a chat. Also, you can do this in real life, too. And please tell me because I really uh, need I'm it. Okay, this is an amazing right here. How to shut them down. Okay, let's say they keep on um, trying to bully you and taunt you in any way and you don't really respond and they keep on doing it because they're dense and they want to still get a rise out of you because they're arrogant and don't have, easily understand so much and give them something entirely um they do not expect instead you would say you know you know pal i actually feel sorry for you i i, I pity you i really do uh, and you know and and like what it, it, or give them a compliment too that you don't need to be cushy or anything of that matter it doesn't mean that you're going to fall to them or submit in any way but instead you would say you know sir or ma'am i i feel sorry for you and what you, you pity me and it's like oh i should pity you and it's like they're trying to turn it back on you it's like no seriously how, how miserable are you that you have to target somebody you don't know just to make yourself feel better? That, that's pretty damn pathetic, isn't it? Okay, you have to go yes. out of your way to to do that I sort agree. of thing. You must be really yeah. miserable and really hate yourself 
and therefore you you hate yourself so therefore everybody has to be like you so you make everybody um, miserable in turn so it's you and so it's almost like a kill or be killed there that's a really altered view of reality don't you think and i have to one you know, thing to say do it I that have way one thing to say i have one yeah. thing to say be the black sheep be the black sheep don't follow the crowd be the goat yeah go be against the goat. crowd don't be, be the sheep. against crowd trust yeah. me there are people who are gonna follow your views i'm just saying they will yeah don't be a sheep if you're gonna but, be a sheep know. be the black sheep be the black They're, sheep and be you proud. know what i would say be proud to you know be and also <laughs> and also if you see it in real life or you see them on camera and they're still being an ass or anything of that nature and i'd say you know you would actually look a little bit better if you had, you know you smiled <laughs> or to have something nice to say i'm, I'm certain that um i guarantee that people will actually like you and you probably would get a date like you claim that you're having all these kind of people at your beck and call um so where are you um, wasting your time harassing me okay so you're i think sitting, you know you need to also keep in mind is um the more attention you give somebody like that the stronger they'll feel so mm -hmm. sometimes yeah. it's just better to not say anything at all and to just like yeah. not let them get a reaction out of you do not engage yeah. yeah yeah because that's keep what on doing and doing and uh, 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 still and get your point and like, honestly that, that is that is one thing that they will tell you um when dealing with abusers is don't yeah. engage you know pull back yeah don't engage yeah try to try, don't let them get to your emotions and i tell you yeah. it's the hardest thing in the world to do yes and i did i've i've actually done that to somebody in real life the world needs before. more hugs yes it does this is facts it's yes, facts i did i know the, I, I know I the had song done that before in real in real life and they had the most stupidest look on their face the, you, you know, know that narcissist i'm sorry but narcissistic personality you got to recognize first off i had to do the same okay it's not yeah. easy to do but you have to you have to recognize yes okay? you have to recognize it you do and by all means do not ever let a narcissist tell you that's the way it is because it's not the way it is it is not the way it is people it is not the way it is no follow your yeah. heart be kind mm -hmm. to people be nice to people keep you and their feelings in check keep everything in check keep yes everything. i can't stress i'm gonna do a close-up i can't <laughs> stress keep that everything eye is going to get check. me yeah. yeah the crawling eye it's gonna get me but really give somebody pity that way and you know do it that do it that way and say you know i feel sorry for you i i really do are you really that miserable do you want a hug you know do it that way and the keep the more nice you are the more their mind becomes error four four cannot compute i don't i don't get it and then you know they Thank will you. become more nasty and then you keep on doing it until they eventually Amen. just leave you alone they just Amen. give up entirely Give it, you know? it, give it, it. Dame, I love you. Just saying. You know? Me, yeah, I love you. Mary, <laughs> I love you. God, you guys, I love you so much. You know. I've, you I've know. actually <laughs> made people cry when I did that sort of thing, especially to young teens. I would kind of do that sort of thing. Well, and, and, that, and that's yeah, I find that hilarious. Some of the people that I've run into that, that are doing that, especially online, I feel like, you know, I graduated from high school way back years ago. I'm not even going to tell you guys how long ago, but way back years ago. I even graduated from college way back years ago. Graduated in 94. Thank you, motherfuckers. <laughs> you hear? 94. <laughs> bitch, 94. <laughs> I graduated in 94. I'm not, I'm, not in, I'm not in high school. I'm not in college anymore. I'm way past that, guys. So if you're stuck at 40 years old in high, high school mental state, that's your problem. It's not mine. Go away. Yeah. But mm -hmm. at the same time, it should, they, they tell you, don't engage. 
mm-hmm. don't raise to their level. They're going to try to gaslight you and, 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 and tell you that what you did was actually, what they did was actually what you did. And you should be the one apologizing to them because you're the one that made them feel bad, even though they're the ones calling you names or whatever. Yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Um, Mm-mm. Fuck that. Sorry. Yeah. Fuck that. Thank you, but Mia. Yeah, you, you know, know the things I, they do. I actually dissect people like that. Trust me. I can be very cruel to a bully. But I really can. I'm sorry, I can actually but make them cry. It's something that people we have to remember. And if if you can't get it to stop, just leave. Remove yourself from the area. If that yeah. means banning them from your YouTube, ban them. If that means yeah. blocking them from your your Twitter or your Facebook or whatever, block them, please. If you're in a game and there's an ignore every game that I know of right now has a slash ignore that you can ignore people on if you're having somebody trolling you in game ignore them put them on ignore do not listen to them yeah they aren't worth your time they are not worth your time okay i'm gonna put this out there but just because it brought a tears in my eye because it's, it's bad memory because you know i'm a gamer i i do games yeah I do MNOs, I do fucking, for years, for years, okay? And my son and I used to play together very frequently because I love my son and my older son. And I love my younger son, sorry, but I'm just speaking about my older son. Okay, let me explain something. When there's bullying going on in chat in an MMO, be keen to it. I'm just saying, be keen to it because the shit's out there. They're going to say what they're going to yeah. say. They're going to say whatever they're going to say. I don't give a fuck. Don't care. Because, bitch, number one, I'm an OG gamer. I have always been an OG gamer. Thank you. And there's others in this community. Yeah. OG gamers. Yeah. You wouldn't we had, have your we, MMOs if it wasn't for Gen X. I'm sorry, but sorry, but facts are facts. Just saying the fact that stand up for what you believe. Do it. Do it. I don't give a fuck. Just do it. Stand up for what you believe. Don't let other generations tell you what's what. I do really, not just fucking follow your heart yeah shit's not right everyone knows that shit okay everyone knows that shit if it hurts it's obviously something that's hurtful they don't need any fucking feeding they don't need anything don't let them do that to you don't let fucking cyberbullying get to you do not let that cyberbullying get to you people lose lives because of that i'm attested yeah. that okay I'm attest to that. Stand firm. Stand firm. Not everyone or everything that you hear on the internet is correct. Let me tell you that right yeah. now. Not everything you hear is correct. What they say to you, you are this, you are that. You are doing this wrong, you're doing that wrong. Oh my God, I can't believe you believe that way. I can't believe you say that way. Or I, I can't, can't believe, believe anything. you're playing the game yeah, like that. that. No. I can't well, believe you, you don't want to. I can't believe you don't want a PVP. Yeah, that's what this game oh, is about. Did. Yeah. Let me tell you, I got my rank in World of Warcraft for a reason. It would be higher, but we were sharing computer. Just saying. But regardless, fact is, dude, no, you don't need to do that shit. You don't need to fucking bring me shit down. Why are you doing this shit? Trolls out there, I got a message for you. I'm saying this. Look at me. I'm saying this straight to your face. I'm saying it to your face. Come get me. I'm saying it straight to your yeah. face. Trolls, fuck you. Yeah. If you got shit that's going on, you need to deal with that shit because there's shit going on in your right. life that you don't agree with. Okay. Get it. Everyone's got shit they got to deal with. But you know what? Talk to someone about it. Yeah. It's okay. It does not show fucking weakness to talk about your shit. If you no. have no other means but, or ways to be able to talk about this shit, fucking 
before you say what you say, think about what you're going to say because you're out to hurt. Don't fucking hurt other people that don't deserve it. They don't deserve it. Okay. I'm going to word this out a little bit more. It's like, okay, dude, if you're really so edgy and a real badass, then how come you don't beat your own ass? Then how come you didn't even beat your own little inner demons that are pestering you and give them a good swatting? Because apparently they're overcoming you right now, and you're um, thank you. You are being their little bitch. And I hate are you going to be some? Are you going to be some demons, little bitch? <laughs> I, I don't think so. I mean, I you're truly you. weak, aren't you? And it's, uh, for you. those who are truly weak on the inside, those who don't even face what's really wrong with them, and and conquer it because that's the biggest enemy you can take down when you take that down when you take down your own inner demons and you give them a good ass beating with with some you know psychology mental health which is really hard then i'll call you a badass you'll get my respect i'll give you a trophy that says um edgelord badass of my own <laughs> i'll fucking do it if you do um, that if you do that, if you go through those things and conquer your shit, mm-hmm. I will give you a spot on little um, thing here on the Zombify. How's that sound? And I hate How to use this story? trope. I hate to use this trope, but a lot of them are. Oh golly, I hate using this trope because not all, not all of all people, not all 30, 40. 50 year olds that are still living in their mother's basements not all of them are trolls but there are a whole lot of them and yeah. now I know there are some that live in basements um, mm-hmm. there that actually they're they're living yeah, there to help their parents they're not their parents aren't supporting them they're supporting their parents so I know that that does exist um, I know some people like that. I mean, one of my best friends, they live in his mother's house, but she is gone on the road 95% of the time. So it's just the two of them in the house. But she needs somebody in the house taking care of the house while she's not there. So the house doesn't fall down when she comes in the house. So there are some that are that's that's a good thing they're they're actually helping support their family but for the the trolls a lot of them are kids that don't know any better they're 13 or 14 year olds or they're some of these what what do you call them dame the edge lords no the other one the the um neck beards oh yes they are and also leg beards too yeah and the, Let, let's not forget the incels as well all of all of that all of that bitterness is coming out because they're not happy with their own life yeah and we need to be happy with our own lives you need to have people around you that love you and if the, if the person that you're with is not making you feel happy all the time and I'm not, you know, everybody has their little squabbles. Everybody has their little arguments. But if it goes, you know, don't go to bed angry. Have you ever heard that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> don't go to bed angry. Make sure you've got that taken care of. It's, okay. it's all good Let me say before something. you go to bed. For the people that have couples, that you are a couple with someone and that you are close to and you should share sorry i have hiccups forgive me i'm sorry <laughs> lack of oxygen my diaphragm is acting out wine might actually that's why we love you mama. mama i know but regardless if the, there is an issue between you and your loved one never go to bed angry the way you can solve that put this way do this do it I'm sorry. I, I'm having issues here. The way to deal with this type of situation, let a candle, okay? Get one of them big pillar candles. I don't care what kind of candle. Just any candle. Before it goes out, you light that son of a bitch. 
and bo- both parties get naked. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, you gonna you have a point to c- prove. Okay, you're both gonna be seen. Sorry, hiccups. You're both gonna be seen there naked, right? That candle, you're gonna watch that candle, okay? You're gonna resolve this. Yeah. Oh my God. You're gonna resolve this shit right quick, okay? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. No, the but best, the best the argument. The fact is, you won't go to bed angry. Right. No. You. The best argument killer boobs. I can't. <laughs> Also, here's another thing too. Is that <laughs> whenever with Just couples, saying. like over the years, with like the more they fight, the more they have this emotional amnesia. You know why I call it as such is because they have forgotten what sparked that romantic love in the first place. They've forgotten what attracted one another in in that way. And if you remind each other of that on a daily basis. I guarantee you, things will definitely change. You will get Thank a lot you. closer. Because Thank you. you also forget how special you are. And when you have people who remind you, yeah, say thank you. And, and you know, they talk about, you know, well, and, and this was one of the things that was brought up in a conversation that I'm trying not to get too far into when I'm saying these things today. Um, but uh, when when you love somebody and you're having problems with them and you know that you're you're having problems and you're there's no real commitment between you because you're just uh you're just dating Mm -hmm. maybe you're just living together but you're not married there's nothing tying you together that was one of the other things the guy last night says if you're going to go out and have sex with somebody Think of that person being the person you're going to have a child with. And do you really want to have a child with that person? Because there is no way you can have sex and be completely sure you're not going to do it. Yeah. Listen up, people. Just saying. But, um, you know, if you're having trouble before the marriage, the marriage is not going to solve the problem. Yeah. Take that as a warning sign. Get the out marriage you is, still can. You may love them with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your being, but they obviously, there's something on their end that's not working. And yeah. you you need to find somebody better. You deserve better. You really yes. do. And you know there was I, I said that the- I said that jokingly that boobs solve all questions. But um, <laughs> they do. But Sorry, I <laughs> I, I do know. You know, there are some that. faces that it's not. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I've seen people they're like, we're going to get married or we're going to have a child and everything's going to be better and nobody and it's going to be no, it's going to be worse. It's going to get worse. Yeah, it's going to get worse. Get your and, shit resolved. <laughs> yeah, and. And you, you need yeah, better. Either resolve you it right now, either or re- resolve it right now. Otherwise, it's going to get worse later. And mm-hmm. if it's not, then get the hell out while you still can. Yeah, because if you if you wait, it's just gonna hurt more later. It's gonna it's gonna be so much more later. <laughs> and um, you know, it's it. It's going to be more costly to you in more than one way. Yeah. And that's why I think some a lot of us look to the paranormal. A lot of us look into seeing if we can reach those the spirits and tell us what they can't tell you what the future is going to be. You know why? It's not written. It's not in stone. Yeah. Every choice you make, every choice we make <laughs> changes the future. I saw I heard it I heard I totally took it the wrong way when I was listening to this narration this morning this guy is saying that you know he's he's in Nazi Germany it's not even Nazi Germany yet it's before it's Nazi Germany Hitler is getting ready to take stand to take the the position as the leader of Germany 
and he's got a sniper rifle and he's aiming it down there and i'm going oh god it's not another story about somebody trying to go kill hitler and change history no he shot the sniper who was trying to kill hitler because he was from the future and he knew what happened if hitler died and he knew that it was going to be worse if hitler didn't live he knew that there was somebody waiting to take over that was worse than hitler can you imagine that mm. that's yeah, scary yeah that's, that makes that's you think up. That's and up. again that's yes. what we in the horror community that's the type of thing that we get into we get into these alternate realities hey you know what would it be what would it be yeah. what if this happened what if that happened what if somebody went at back in time and saved abraham lincoln holy shit yeah you know what would it what would change the world we don't know because it didn't happen and nice. it's okay that it didn't happen but you know everything you keep do keep in mind it, it is may not, what it is it, it is what it is it is what it is it, yeah. is, it, is it may what not it seem is. it may not seem like the decisions you make every day make a lot of difference but there is a I'm going to use this term butterfly effect <laughs> where you know what you do today affects everything around you and that affects everything around everything around you and it just it just it's like a ripple effect you put the the stone in the in the pond and it makes that ripple that goes out 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 that's what your decisions do that's what but happens to the mind. future yes. keep in mind that stone that you throw it's going to displace water just saying mm -hmm. it's yeah. science it's science it is it's science so think of what you would do if you were to do good things all the time something good will come back yeah it always does in some form or another like if it's not right away then like sooner or later that's like just even it. And Even a decade later, things, the more, more bacon things you eat, the better you are. <laughs> good things happen to people. It's not always in your timeline. It's not yeah. in your timeline. Keep that well, in mind. You know, I keep hearing keep people. Well, mind. there is no God because why did they let? Why does he let this happen? Why does he let that happen? Hmm. Sometimes we do this to ourselves, people. Let's be serious. Yeah. We do Some, this to ourselves sometimes. Yeah, a lot of and, people do not understand that sometimes you are your own villain. And, you know, it's not, it's not so much that he's not answering your prayers. He may be answering it, but the answer may not be what you want. Exactly. Yeah. If he said, it, you know, we're always, we're always wanting him to answer it the way we want it. You know, yeah. we want our, we want our, our deity to answer us and, and tell us what we want and tell us and give it to us. But the our deity can see where that's going to go mm -hmm. and say, can, can't say no. You know, that little baby may have just needed to be here to get a, get a, a body, but if he lived, it may have been something much worse in yeah. the future. And it may be a good thing that the baby was only here to get a, a body. Oh, yes, I, I agree with you, Josie. It says, you know, she says, um, it can be generational, too. Maybe your actions mm -hmm. today will bless you know, future generations. Yeah. Oh, yes, it is. That's, there's a grand truth to that. There really is. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it, we love you guys. You know that. We love you guys. Yeah. We and we just want you to be happy. Aww. And that's why we don't want, we want you to have your positivity with you. We want you to be strong within yourself. Don't go looking for danger revenge yeah revenge revenge danger. yes Anything. Danger. don't go it's looking for these things if you can't be positive yourself if you can't be strong of yourself don't ex don't ask somebody else to do it you've got to do it for yourself you or can't. for those people who are not satisfied with it but are still um wanting revenge in some way well think of it this way you want to get revenge on um, an abuser that you 
that you've just left in a relationship and it doesn't matter if it's between parent child or between lovers whoever o okay somebody is bullying you you left you still want to get revenge on them but guess what you just did think of it this way um again i um i always say that a lot but your best i'll reward life, it here your best life your best revenge is living your life to yes the fullest. yes in fact your happiness is their pain so yeah. consider it your positive revenge or just go watch dark fluff yes that, yes, that is always nice that will satisfy you <laughs> that will satisfy you right there your little inner villain that will satisfy you, know, you right there he, he's got that on that part r slash entitled people r slash pro revenge r slash petty revenge r slash nuclear revenge there was one uh the guy yeah. who was actually said something like it this was not where i expected it to go mm -hmm. and it actually if i had had a choice i would not have it gone that far Ooh, however I fear fear oh, fear the great one Hi. But yeah, we're we're um winding down. Oh, I also have another thing you can do for somebody who's you know going to leave you. They, they say, "I'm leaving. I'm not coming. Not coming back." And you want a good okay. comeback bye -bye. to somebody? You know what you can say? That's the nicest thing you've ever done for me. <laughs> You. Can you ignore me some more and not come back oh, forever? Oh, mutant! And, oh, ow, ow! That hurts them, and you're like, why not? And you know, I'm sorry, that mutant. Way. I'm sorry, mutant. I'm sorry. Yes, oh, it, we love aw. you. Yeah, but you know, that's you one know? of the things that I love about the horror community is a lot of us are strong within ourselves, and. Those of us that need yeah. a little bit of a shoulder to lean on, we're all here to lean on each other's shoulders. We're all yes. here to be that person to listen to you. You know, Vidith just put a, a video out and I guarantee you, you go listen to his music and you know he's got your back. Yeah. <laughs> you go listen to his videos. He's got your back, dude. He's got your back. Uh, same so, thing with Jensen. Same yeah. thing with Sabian. Same thing with Fear. Same thing with Josie. Same thing with bottle caps, same thing with Zomnified, yeah. same yeah. thing with any of the four of us. Yeah. yeah, so when that person you know. threatens to leave you and they have that on and on off relationship and they say, I'm leaving, I'm not coming back, you're miserable without me. And then instead just fire back and say, thank you. That's the nicest thing you've ever done. And watch you for know? those manipulation. That, that's a manipulation line. That's a threat to you. Yeah, It's right. just like saying, if you leave me, I'll kill myself. Well, if that's what it's going to take, I buy. All right. Because thank I'm you. tired of dealing with the, the abuse. I'm tired of dealing yeah, with the so, pain. So you know. say thank you. Yeah. Say thank you. Yeah. Well, I'm trying not to get religious because on the slide, I really am. And I'm yeah. trying not to get into the couple of cases that I listened to this week that made me cry so bad because. Yeah. We have, it, you know, we've gotten yeah, into this. Yeah, we've got into these culture that we need to, we need to support each other. We need to, we need mm -hmm. to love each other. We need to stand up for each other. Anybody who is hurt, anybody That's who is hurt, it. That's they it need right support. There. I don't care if they're male. I don't care if they're female. I don't care if they're. Whatever. gender i don't care if they're purple you know, i don't it care has if they're nothing green. to do with gender it has everything to do with their heart and the heart yeah. that is broken be there for the people that have heart oh thank be you be there for you. hearts do you want broken. to try to do that video again bansheba do you want me to send it what do you want i, I don't know that's that's what they're asking but yeah high high bottle caps if you can get it through Twitter, DM. Okay, I, I posted it there. Uh, you can go ahead and try. Yeah, we can try it. It was, it was, it's probably not pertinent now at this point in time just because it, it's, we, it's a heartfelt thing. Yeah. Um, but that's okay. 
people. But we but um do what you need to do, do whatever you want. That's good to go. I'm so, I'm watching our our culture and I'm seeing our culture get down to where if I make an accusation against you, all of a sudden, depending on what that accusation is, people are going to make judgments on it. Whether I, I have any proof or not, people are going to make ju- judgments on what I say. Yeah. No matter what I say. Um, and they're going to, in some cases, believe me, whether I have any proof or not. Oh, you and know what? We used I to have, have to this say? problem. This is something we've had for years. This has been around for years. Hey, I have. I'm going to come. I'm going to make this new slang term. You know, people um saying, "Hey, um, you know, like throwing shade or whatever." How about throwing shine? <laughs> come on, use it. It's like I'm throwing some shine right here. Throw, throw some shine and be able to give people compliments. It doesn't have to be flirty or anything like that you can do it's it in okay. a platonic way yeah okay. you can totally support someone without coming on to someone sorry just saying yes you can or yes. or just say you are aesthetically pleasing and you know put it people, that way people put up the the devil i just saw banshee do the devil horns yes put out put out your thumb yeah put out your thumb no with the devil horns put out your thumb with the devil horns I love you. That's that is the right there. universal sign for I love you. Right there. Yes. That means I love you. Yeah. And we love you. We want you around forever. And we know. We do. We're all mortal. And we're we're going to yeah. leave this mortal coil eventually. And, and, and go wherever we go. And that's one of the reasons why we're all trying to find out. You know from the paranormal find out what what is it what is out there we're all the human beings are curious we want to know yes. we want to know we don't like thing not knowing things that's why we try to find the paranormal that's why we you know <laughs> it's just you know Too many people forget that there is a human being on the other side yeah. of the, that screen. On the other side of all those wires, there's a human being sitting there yeah, with feelings, boy. with a mind, mm-hmm. and with a heart, and with a family. And you can call them all the names you want, but you don't know them. Yeah. You have no idea anything about them. So back off, shut your mouth. And try to be nice to people. Yeah. Because it's going to come back at you at some yes. day, somehow. It may not be today. It may not be in the next 20 years, but it's going to come back at you one day. And it will get you. Hey, we're called the Horror Honeys for a reason because we spread the sweetness everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, everybody needs a hug. Everybody needs a hug. Yes, that's why we're called the Horror Honeys is because that's what we do. You get a lot more um, nutrients out of honey. Get a lot more sweetness out of honey. Honey honey is good for you. Honey is the best thing in the world for you. I mean, it helps you with your allergies. It's antibiotic. You know that they actually use that in wound care to help seal up deep wounds. They yeah. do that with my dad. They do it with my dad. Yes. Because my dad was on Coumadin, heart patient. He was on Coumadin and he bleeds very easily. So anytime he got a nick cut, anything, a bruise that broke through the skin, they put honey on it. Yeah. It yep. heal up a lot faster than any uh, antibiotic catch, out there. You catch a lot more flies with honey. Yes. Than you do mm-hmm. with salt. Yes. Yes, you do. Agreed. And Thank some, you. you know, we say those the, the we say those sayings are cliche and they're tropes and all that Whoa. stuff, you know. But they're eight, they're old fashioned. That's that's the biggest one I hear. They're old fashioned. <laughs> you know what? They're true. Yes, they are. Sometimes things that are old are out there for a reason because they actually mean something and they have facts behind them. 
mm-hmm. don't always set aside stuff that is old because it might actually be something that could save your life at some point in time. There's a reason why we yes. figured shit out in the past. Don't dismiss the same. Well, that was that was one of the things with the um, the quote unquote witches that were uh, persecuted in the past. The wise women. Yeah, exactly. wise women. The wise exactly. women who were the herbalists. They yeah. knew what herbs would do what. They knew how to how to make a salve out of tobacco and put it on a wound so it clean, healed up and didn't get infected. You know. Yeah. They had this skill because they had learned it over long years. I'm and sorry. It down I from say, generation to this. generation. I'm going to say this because Aww. it's probably going to affect people when I say this, but I got to fucking say it. Where are we to judge other people? It is not our job to judge other people. We get no. that they do things wrong, but where do we come in play that we're the ones to judge other people, especially and, when they're yeah. not necessarily wrong? Right. And as I said earlier, we were talking, justice is blind. The law is kind of biased. Yes. Okay. Sometimes it's a little more biased than other times, but you have to realize that our judges that sit on the bench are just humans. They can get things wrong. They don't always get things right. And, and they're people. They are people just like us. Sorry, but they're they're, people just like us. And there are those yeah. people that that there is some kind of a uh, I'm sorry, the good old boy system does exist, guys. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And it's not just good old boys. It's not just and I hear people say this all the time. It's the cops. It's a thin blue line. It's not always that. No, it, it there's a lot of groups, clicks mm-hmm. 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 that are they will they will back up the person no matter what they do no matter mm-hmm. what they say they're going to be right yeah. even when they're wrong they're right exactly it's not like that it's not Thank like you. that it's not like Thank that you. guys no everybody's wrong everybody gets something wrong there's always somebody out there if you think you know everything about it something i guarantee you there is one person out there that knows one thing about it that you don't know yeah, exactly. You have to check your facts completely first before you assume anything. In fact, assumption is one of the most stupidest things you can ever do. Mm-hmm. And anything. It's like assuming. <laughs> Don't you. ever, ever it. assume. In fact, it, assumption gets you into trouble. Assuming that's actually one of the cliches. In uh-huh. fact, that's actually one of the cliches that I use a lot in horror. You and me. Mary yeah. said it. Mary said it. Yes. Yes. The like, assumption is one of the most stupidest things you can ever do. Um, do not be cocky. That's one of the the horror cliches. <laughs> horror cliches can you actually apply to real life. Fully There's a lot of do. those. There's yes. a lot of those. There are so many of Don't those. Don't be a cliche because guess yeah. what? <sighs> That is not kosher. Just saying. We're gonna go yeah. over. It, 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 I'm gonna. I'm gonna use a line. I hope I. It, yeah. We're gonna go in the cabin over here where five kids got killed in last year. Oh, and we're gonna. We're gonna get together. And we're gonna have some fun. Yeah, you're dead. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> the old guy that stands on the corner and says, "You're doomed." Ah, uh, you better listen to him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. You better listen. <laughs> follow your heart, people. Yeah. Honest to God, follow your heart. I mean, yeah. it's not yes. that hard. I don't care who the fuck you are. Just follow your heart. I mean, people. regardless of what your beliefs <laughs> are and whatever you decide to go through, it makes sense. It really does. It makes sense. You know right from wrong. <laughs> you know right from wrong. You do. Follow, <laughs> follow your heart. Mm-hmm. Man, if it makes someone else feel like shit, don't. Better have your facts right. You better yes. have your facts right. Have your facts right. I'm just saying. Because people. 
will give off other vibes and a, and to present lie, themselves. A lie because always comes we are out. All about. Mm -hmm. Go it's ahead. Always, a lie always comes out. The lie always. Yes, yes. It, it it you can't keep a lie going. You know why it's no. so easy for honest people to tell the truth and have their story straight all the time? They don't have to remember what they said last time. They just tell the truth. Yeah. And then also... I'm too lazy to lie. Like, that's what it is. Just, <laughs> I've also heard lies so are like scary. potato chips. <laughs> lies are like potato yeah. chips. You just you can't, can't just tell one. one. Yeah. Hello, Sorta Rican. What? Good to see you! Hey guys, Hi. we got 20 likes. If you haven't hit that like button, give it a little Please bit of love. Mm -hmm, it'll, give you, it'll give this you some brain. This kind of changed. Wow, we went from paranormal to your personal life. Yeah, we but you know what? Kind of shit. We do you that have kind to, of shit, get used to it. Just saying. You have to have your, your personal life. You have to have your strength in yourself there before you go out and look for the paranormal because if you get involved with something you have to have that defense agreed mm -hmm. agreed the ghosts are giving us hugs right now <laughs> not trying to jump our legs alistair <laughs> what do you have to say about what we said on the show today are we like way off please let us know are we way off no no my Dear ladies, no, indeed not. I agree with your speeches, and I have been moved to tears. Oh, 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 oh my god. I'm sorry, Alistair. We uh, we we didn't need to do that, but no, it we're is, happy. No, it is quite uh, all right. I enjoyed it and has revived lessons I should have learned while alive. Oh, oh God. I'm sorry, that hits me real... I mean, that that that's, it hits me right in the feels. It really does. It really does. Yeah. It hits me right in the feels. The fact that we can learn shit... Mm. Afterlife. That we can learn shit. I no, mean, I, really. I believe that. I believe we can. I believe that if... If, if, um, if we still need to learn something we're going to be taught it in the afterlife I believe right. that um, I believe that our, our ancestors can come talk to us whether they do it in our dreams or they do it in our uh, you know, standing at the foot of our bed and telling us what did you do with my name um, you know there's, there's our loved ones care for us they, who's going to get through to you easier someone you knew and you loved or someone you don't know I agree I think the same thing goes for spirits though guys if you're out there and you're um, you're you're dealing with a spirit and that spirit starts to abuse you use you tell you to do things that you know you're not supposed to do or you shouldn't be doing make you feel bad make you feel like um they're telling you what to do they're manipulating you that's not a good spirit and you need to get rid of it oh you he says to... that he has a little fun with those ghostly bullies <laughs> you need you need to you need to take the time to get rid of it because it is not good it is not one you want to deal with no and do what you need to do whether it's going to see a shaman to be cleansed or going to a priest or whatever it is that you need to do please do it 
And Jose, tell your son happy birthday. Happy birthday! <laughs> There's another birthday boy for today. Oh, Yay. oh happy birthday. Happy birthday. Follow your heart. Um, we start talking about paranormal instruments and tools and everything and you know sometimes <laughs> but we we got talking about how we needed to be strong individuals while we're doing this to protect ourselves from what the bad influences of the paranormal and that's just as important that you have your life right that you're doing it with the right mental state that's that's i think that's what we both we want to get yeah. through to you the most yeah. the paranormal is great to, to find out about to learn about to investigate but if you're not right with yourself they there could be some spirit out there that could use you and it would be very bad repercussions yeah. they say one of the first thing the first things that uh the, the spirits that want to possess a body will go after somebody who is at their weakest in some way. They will use that weakness against them. Oh, Alistair is asking, may I um, um, yes. say what, will, what defines a man from my time? Yes, yes please. please do. Since he was from the 1920s, so this is as old-fashioned as you can get, people. Uh, you better <laughs> listen very carefully here. <laughs> Go ahead, Alistair. First of all, they do not rely on the hospitality of the helpless and poor, especially by their own mothers. Secondly, men were to work hard and provide for themselves and family. Third, they do not use violence or dominate a woman in order for her to have submission. You must seduce her heart before her body. Fourth. Facts. Facts. You Facts. put others' feelings before your own and do not make demands. Right. And foremost, they do not fear a woman of authority. A mighty king needs his queen to keep the castle safe and stable. Right. Thank Lastly, you. they are to dress decently oh, and shit. clean their own <laughs> spaces. Sorry, Alistair. I'm not decent all the time. I'm 
I'm my bad. <laughs> saying, I'm sorry. Quite all right. But I wished to pass this on to the men of these generations who listen. And we thank you for that. Thank you, Alistair. God dang. I don't care where those words come from, whether they come from like 1900s, 1800s, 1700s. <laughs> he says Decency. you're very welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Decency, it goes a long way. Just saying, people, decently, it goes a long way. It goes it's, a long way. it's okay to cry mm-hmm. if you're a man. It is okay to cry because there are things that your emotions need to get out somehow. Yes, yes. He agrees with you very strongly on that. <laughs> a man Thank you, Alistair. may be powerful and strong and capable of violence when he needs to. But he also needs to know when those times are. And he needs to know... (laughs) He also needs to know when it's time for him to use that strength to sacrifice Mm -hmm. to make sure that others in his life that he's supporting and taking care of have what they need. And we're getting told that it's getting close to the end of the show. And yeah. you know that we've been, we've been, we've been going on for. We have been. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we're going on a tangent. This is so a tangent, but you know what? It's, it's shit that people need to hear, I think. And we need to be a stepping stone. We need stone to think about people. it. We need to, we need to be a it. stepping stone. Let you guys know. We are stepping stones, just like Mia said. We really do. We need to be yes. examples for other people. We really do. It don't matter what generation you come from. It don't matter where you come from, your beliefs, whatever. It, it, decency, hello, is decency for a reason. Let's follow decency. Doesn't, doesn't change just follow. because the oh, years changed. Doesn't change just because the generations out. change. He's putting out a shout out to the neckbeards who happen to listen to this. <laughs> to all neckbeards who... Claim they are a gentleman. <laughs> Keep these words in mind and from a genuine sort on what defines a gentleman. I'm married. I'm married. Thank you. And yeah, he says it right. Be the change you want to see. Yeah. Support Agreed. support everyone. Let's support each other. Support each other. If it's Yes. If somebody tells you that they're being hurt, they're being abused, I don't care if they're men or women or a, a child. For God's sake, don't turn a child it's away, please. The feelers people, listen to the feelers. Yeah. Yes. Help them. You know, don't don't support an abuser. We love you all. We want you to be happy. We want you to be healthy. We want you to be loved and feel love. And oh God, be uh, careful! I'm so sorry. You are like totally just choking on your words right now. I know it's coming. Oh, poor thing. I know this. I feel it. I feel it. You know, a lot of people feel this. So just know you're not. You're not alone. We all. We feel this. We feel it. We feel it. (laughs) <laughs> Let's be supportive of each other. Let's be decent people. Let's set an example, people. Can we set an example of what we should be and not what society yes, okay. Yeah. What society wants us to be? Fuck that shit. Sorry. Fuck that shit. Like, you know, if you want to be a real be. rebel nowadays, being polite seems to be the ultimate rebellion now, doesn't it? It does. Not being Same. judgmental, not being yes. judgmental, yes, not right. um, not rising to the um, yeah, not sinking to their level, yeah, yeah. not rising to it, not not Let's allowing people to, not engaging. That's what we use. Not engaging. I was trying to remember what yeah. we used earlier. Really. 
um and it goes in all all ways of your life people yeah. it goes in all ways of your life whether you're dealing with a boss whether you're dealing with a ghost whether you're dealing with a banshee or you're dealing with a vampire or you're dealing with a, a ripper um mm -hmm. or a reaper <laughs> or a mary Ow. p who's eating all your bacon <laughs> damn it mary look i will eat all of that bacon all the time I have no regrets. Share, <laughs> damn it, share. I like bacon. I like my cholesterol. Bacon. Or homicidal teddy bear, for that matter. <laughs> or a teddy bear <laughs> who just wants nudes in the mail. Yes, mm -hmm. all of them. Please, KK. Damn it. Nudes solve everything. I'm just saying, people. Come on. Just no, saying. No, boobs, just... boobs, boobs solve everything. Boobs. 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 Keep an eye out this week. Um, I don't know if I know Wednesday does Omnified has Steve coming on um, talking about real evil real evil and the real evil that is out there that is we face every day um, we should be back next Saturday unless somebody I don't know we'll be back next Saturday yeah <laughs> don't know what we're gonna talk about we'll come up with it this week you'll know uh, you'll know you'll know um, and I'm sure that I know Dame Saturday has been putting out stuff. Oh, yeah. You don't All know what I'll produce. No, and go check it out, please. She's trying to <laughs> regrow her. She's trying to regrow her channel. Um, yeah. because YouTube, um, messed up. Uh, <laughs> so please, yes, go and see that. Mary is doing voice work all over the place. Check her out. Check me out, yo. Check yeah. her out. She's doing voice work everywhere. I'm. She's writing, um, and uh, so that's that's there. Uh, has anybody got anything coming up this week that that I, I've got a Saint I've got a Saint Patrick's Day story that I need to record and get out there and my my channel goals are going to be like I already recorded them <laughs> I recorded them three weeks ago and they still aren't yes. in the video well you know how bad it's been here <laughs> but um yeah uh, sort of reeking I don't Jose have you have you got a, a stream tomorrow night you usually we have a stream on the weekend, one night on the weekend. I don't know when. I see it the next day in my <laughs> notifications. <laughs> my notifications are a day late and a dollar short. Um. Yeah, Mary has a cool voice and she does a lot of things with it. My yeah. voice right now is not very good. Um, <laughs> I won't be <laughs> recording with this voice. I will not. Mutant artificial intelligence. How are you doing? You got anything coming out this no. week? We are coming up on the end of March this week. And we are getting into April. We got April Fool's coming up this, yes. is that this coming week. Yes, and we've got Easter coming up next weekend. The bunny invasion has begun. So, um, yeah go go check it out uh i am going to have a live stream on my channel either this week or next week i'm not really sure it depends on my voice a lot <laughs> um so keep your eyes open for that too if you haven't sent me a question it's going to be a question and answer i will be answering from the chat if nobody sends me any questions i'll just sit here and talk about my myself okay fear i'm driving over right now i will be right mm -hmm. there oh he got a 10 pound box of bacon can you pick me up on your way yeah i got, got you. you good i got you good the, the best way to get to mary's heart is to get her a huge semi truck full of bacon oh yeah <laughs> Get that bacon. Uh, Get that bacon. Bacon wrapped things. Bacon. Um, Ooh. Bacon, bacon wrapped bacon. thick steak with bacon wrapped around it. Bacon oh, wrapped yeah. leg. 
can an <laughs> email be turned into a link? A email is a link. Um, in HTML, are you, are you talking about HTML or because it can be made a link in HTML? It's just a, a anchor ink, anchor link. Is what they call them. Yes, everybody, please stay safe. The weather is really weird lately. Um, we have had thunderstorms every night this past week, which is partly why I haven't gotten anything done for you guys. Um, yeah. It, it's the, There are areas down here that are flooding. Um, mm -hmm. So don't go into flooded streets, guys, because you don't know what's in, how deep they are. You can't tell. You just can't tell. Mm, yeah, just stay away from that. Um, I have no pen. You know, was it Gathering of Crows that that had that writing thing that was talking about reading it out loud? He was talking about make sure you read it out, read what you write out loud. I think we need to do that when we're writing stuff in like our social media and other places yeah to make sure that we we checked ourselves to make sure that we're not saying hurtful things i think that would be a good yeah. thing for everybody to do like read imagine yourself loud. at the recent like imagine yourself at the receiving end of that message yeah we can really, always come over for bacon every time knock first just in case oh is this is this when the chain is swinging don't come knocking Wednesday, 8 p.m. Um, Eastern is the Real Evil star starring Steve Stocks and Gemma Jade. Ooh. Nice. And if you haven't checked out Steve's 13 Past Midnight page, he's been putting out videos. Some of them are really, really great uh, old-time horror stories. And some of them are newer. Also, I saw Unicorps was putting some stuff out so check her out as well um and then there's steve stockson's other page which i just watched something from it this morning i can't remember the name of it but it is linked to 13 past midnight and uh everybody have a great day we've got great stuff coming up keep an eye on twitter to see what everybody's doing if you see somebody putting out a link for their videos, retweet it so that they can get it. Night, everybody. We love you and bittersweet dreams. Bittersweet dreams. <laughs> <laughs>